Dr. Gregory Hart here, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for subscribing to this channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. I also encourage you that if you find the information interesting, please be generous and share. Today we're going to talk about some of our athletes who are overseas, who need the support and guidance in order to become the best version of themselves. I am concerned with some of our athletes overseas because I realize that some of them are not getting the support they need. And when we talk about support, we're not talking about financial support because many of them do have scholarships and the scholarships provide many of the basic needs, the food, the clothing, to some degree, the shelter. But some of the support or the main support that they need is the psychological support, the encouragement. And it is something that our federation should do to make sure that they keep tabs with some of the athletes who displayed talent over the years. So I would encourage our federations to have a liaison individual or individuals in a position to support these athletes because in order for them to be the best version of themselves, you too can play a part in making sure they get some of the things that they need. In fact, I personally will provide some of the psychological support, the encouragement that they need. So if you know of an athlete who need that support to become the best version of themselves, tell them, inform them to subscribe to this channel and reach out to me right away. So the athletes who need help, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I will continue to educate, motivate and inspire those athletes who want to become the best version of themselves. Now one of those athletes that I'm going to talk about today is Kevona Davis. And the reason I will talk about her today, because I was having a discussion with a friend and he was very concerned that Kevona Davis was not developing the way he expected her to develop. And the truth of the matter is, she performed great at the age of 14, 15 and 16. In fact, Kevona Davis is the first 16 year old for Jamaica to run sub 23 seconds in the 200. She also ran 11.15 in the 100 meter at the age of 16. And even though she continued to perform 22.72 and 11.15 is her PR. So for the past three years, she has not run a personal record. And because of that, some people feel that she is not improving the way they expected her to improve. But for the most part, I disagree because one of the things you find when an athlete is developing is that they don't always have to run personal records. If you look at Kevona improvements for the past three years, she has been within the range of her personal record. So I think that as she fully mature, I think that as she continues to believe in herself, that you will see great performance as she gets older. The last video I did, I talked about the importance of making the transition from high school into the professional level or within the first two years after finishing high school. And Kevona decided to attend the University of Texas, which has been shown to be a good selection over the years for some of our sprinters. In fact, some of the best American female sprinters went to the University of Texas. Juliet Cuthbert, one of those sprinters. Sonia Richards is another successful sprinter that went to the University of Texas. But the good thing about it is because Kevona did not go straight into the professional arena, she has the time to develop properly. Now there are pros and cons to attend the University of Texas. One of the pros is that they have the necessary financial resources to provide all that she needs to develop physically and psychologically. However, some of the cons that we may have with her going to University of Texas is that they too can get overzealous and may force her to compete every week in order to 
obtain points. So we are hoping that they will do what is in her best interest because as it stands now, she is obligated to give her best effort while attending this university. But she must also realize that in order for her to become one of Jamaica's best printer, she too will need to make the right decisions as it relates to her physical development. It will take some time for her to properly develop. And this is why she would need the proper encouragement, the proper support psychologically some of the things that the university may take for granted. Now, I can admit that they are doing a great job with her so far. In February, she ran 2320 indoors. And if you convert that to an outdoor time, you will get approximately 2270. She finished A at the NCAA in a time of 22.78, which is pretty close to her personal record, which is a good thing. Now, to some people, they were disappointed that she was not selected on the Olympic team because of her performance. But I think that was a good thing because it took off a lot of the pressure mentally. So she now has the time to focus on what she should do in order to be the best version of herself for next year. I, however, hope that she gets the psychological support and the guidance that she needs in order to develop into the athletes that we are expecting her to be. But one of my concerns is this, that I think she should focus more on the 200 because when you look at some of her transitioning in the 100 meter, it tells that she is a way better 200 meter runner than a 100 meter sprinter. Overall, she is now a sophomore. As I said before, the first two years are very challenging. But for the most part, she is doing great. Once she gets through the first two years of college, I think that she will continue to develop and become the champion that many of us expect her to be. She will run a PR either this year or next year based on what I observe. She will be in a position to make the Jamaica national team next year for the world championship if she focus on the 200 i think she can be on the relay team if she continues to improve i urge her to focus on her mental strength and if she's able to continue to develop mentally and psychologically she will be a champion at the highest level once again we all know that talent means nothing if the right decisions are not made and i look forward to watching her compete for the 2022 World Championship and beyond. I thank you all for listening. Let me see your comments in the comment section. Again, I am Dr. Gregory Horton. Thank you very much for listening. Have a blessed day.